Hello, good evening. How are you, Hector? Hello, Hector, how are you?
Hello, Carla, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day today? It was busy, busy day. It was and a you? busy day. Oh, mine was very busy today. Okay. Very tiring day today. But I'm going to relax with this class. No problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, how do you say? Es la idea. That's the idea. That's, That's the, idea. the idea. That's the idea. That's correct. That's the idea. Okay. Okay. And do you have any questions about? Yes. Um, creo que me cuesta eh, diferenciar cuando usar el would like and would you like. Ah, would you like, would you like, cuando estás refiriéndote a la otra persona, you, you, would you like, te gustaría, y would like, she would like, I would like, they would like, ok, okay. okay. a mí me gustaría, a ella le gustaría, a ellos le gustaría, they would like, she would like, he would like, ok, But when you say would you like, es te gustaría, Okay. Okay, thank you. Would you like? Uh -huh. Now you can also say, would he like? Would she like? But you are referring to a third person. Would Maria like a soda? Right? Would okay. Melissa like a, a new car? Okay. Right? Would you like a new TV? I would like a new TV. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay very good. You. Okay, the, did you get the material for today? Yes. Okay, yes, uh, the simple present tense. The simple present tense, the present continues, and then at the end is both. Okay, when to use which? 14 page. 14 pages. Uh -huh, 14 pages. Pages. So, pages, because it's plural. One page, two or three or pages. more pages. Uh -huh, that okay, is correct. Okay. 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 How do you feel uh, if you have learned anything in this course? Um, I don't understand. Okay. Do you feel that you learn in, in this course? Sintió que aprendió in this course? Yes. Yes. Um, de hecho, sí pedía un poquito, pero lo he puesto más en práctica. Okay. Very good. Good evening, Liliana. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Fine, thanks. How was your day at work? Busy. Busy. Okay. <laughs> All of us have, have had a busy day today. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hector. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? I had a hard day. A hard day too, okay. Okay, now let's uh, uh, think about that we are going to relax and that's what exactly we are going to do, okay? to relax. Okay, now let me, let me get, okay, and uh, Okay, so it's A02. Let me see, A02. Okay, so uh, here's Marlon. Good evening, Marlon. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. How was your day at work today, Marlon? I have, I have, 
they are a hard day too. Yeah. Okay, everybody has been busy today. Okay, or everybody has had a hard day. Okay, including me. I've had a very busy day today. Okay, but it's okay. Good evening, Ginny. How are you today? Good evening. Mm. I, my day was busy. Oh, busy mm. for everybody. Okay. Mm. Uh, by the way, good evening, Cindy. How are you today? Good evening, Cindy. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, how was your day at work today? I had a easy day. Easy day too. Everybody has had a busy day, okay? Don't worry. Okay, think about that this is a yoga class and you are going to relax. Okay? <laughs> ah, by the way, have you have you uh, downloaded the material that I sent you for today? Review material, the present, simple present tense, yes? Okay, that is the beginning, the simple present. But then uh, uh, we, I made a lot of exercises so you can be clear, okay? Good evening, Francisca. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Very good. Very good. How was your day at work today? How was your day at work today? Very busy, very hard. Ah, busy. Very busy. Everybody busy. has had a busy day. Okay, Carlos, good evening. How are you today, Carlos? Good evening, Carlos. How are you today? Good evening, Carlos. How are you today? Good evening. Uh, very good with a lot, with a lot work. A lot of work. Okay, so you have been busy at work today. Okay, yes. don't worry. Just relax in this class, okay? okay? Good evening, Vicente. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Very good. Very good, I'm glad to hear that. How was your day at work today? I'm fine. Very, okay, very good. Okay, so, okay, so there are nine of us, okay. Now let's, uh, let's get the material, okay? Let's get the material. Okay. okay, now this is a review. First, we are going to review, ah, by the way, before I start sharing, everybody has the material, right? The, the review material for today. The ones that it says simple present. Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, very good, very good. So let me share with you. This is the material that I'm talking about. This is the material that I'm talking about, okay? So, simple present tense. The simple present tense expresses an action in the present taking place regularly, never, or several times. Several times means a lot of times, many times. It is also used for action that take place one after another and for actions that are set by a timetable schedule. You remember when we say, when we talk about buses, airports, okay, schedules. So for schedules, we use the simple present. Let's see. Okay, how is the affirmative? I think, you think, he thinks. Remember he, she, and it take the S. Remember the inflection. And then we think, they think. 
Now, how to make questions? Now, for I, you, we, and they, we use do. Do I think? And the do goes before the subject. The do goes before the subject. So, do I think? Do you think? Do we think? Do they think? And for third person singular, does he think? Does she think? Does it think? Only for third person singular. That means he, she, and it. Now, the negative. Now, the negative, remember that the contraction is don't. Okay? And here, the contraction is doesn't. Okay? So, I do not think a uh, contraction. I don't think. You don't think. He does not think contraction. He doesn't think. She doesn't think. He doesn't think. And then again, we don't think. They don't think. Okay? Is that clear? Something that you know. Something that you know. Okay, very good. Now, in the present tense, there is an inflection on the third person, on he, she, and it. So that is third person singular. Singular, okay? So let's see the grammar rules. Normally, in the present tense, we add S. Okay, we add an S. And to the end of the verb in the third person, he, she, and it. For example, speak, speaks. Play, plays. Give, gives. Make, makes. So we say he speaks three languages. And remember, this only happens with he, she, and it. It could be uh, an animal or a thing. So he speaks three languages. She drinks coffee every morning. And my dog hates my cat. So you see, my dog eats. So an S, hates. And the meaning of hate, odia. Okay? Irregular verbs in English in the present tense follow very simple rules. The only ch chance change that is made to these verbs is in the third person for he, she, or it. Now, if the verb ends in double S, X, CH, SH, or the letter O, we add yes. For example, kiss, kisses, ends in double S. Fix, fixes. Watch, watches. Crash, crashes. Go, goes. Okay? So when they, the bird ends in this double X, X, CH, SH, or O, we add ES. We add ES. Okay? Something that you know, something that we already practiced. For example, a mechanic. He or she, a mechanic, fixes cars. She watches soap operas every afternoon. Soap operas, novelas. Soap operas. He kisses his wife before he goes to work. So he kisses his wife before he goes to work. Okay? Okay. Teacher, siempre, yes. siempre para he, she, it. Only for he, she, and it. Okay. For the rest, for the rest, you see the verb in the base form. I think, you think. It thinks, we think, uh, we think, they think. So that addition of the S or ES is only for he, for she, and for it. Okay? okay. That's what he said right here. He, she, and it. Okay? Okay. Very good. Again, he says right here, only for he, for she, and for it. Okay. Okay? 
Very good. Now, there is another variation, okay? If the verb ends in a consonant plus Y, for example, carry, consonant R, and then Y. Hurry, study, consonant, and then Y. Deny, consonant, and then Y. So in these cases, we are going to drop, we are going to remove the Y, and we are going to add I, E, S, okay? For example, carry, carries. Hurry, hurries. Study, studies. Deny, denies. Now, I'm going to write right here. For example, the verb play. Okay, play. This is a cons, this is a vowel, and this is a Y. So it's not, is. Vowel plus Y. The rule says only consonants plus Y. So consonant plus Y. In this case, that is vowel plus Y, we only add S. Another example is enjoy. Okay? We have vowel plus Y. So this rule doesn't apply to this one because it's consonant, consonant plus Y. So in this case, we only add S. Is that clear? Va, esta lo voy a explicar en español para que quede claro. Esta regla dice que si el verbo termina en una consonante como la R aquí, como la D aquí, como la N aquí, consonante, más Y. O sea, aquí tenemos consonante más Y. Consonante más Y. Consonante más Y. Dice que en estos casos vamos a remover la Y y vamos a agregar I -E -S, I -E -S. Carry, carries. Hurry, hurries. Study, studies. Deny, denies. ¿Ok? And look, y fíjese bien, si el verbo termina en vocal más Y, como la regla dice que tiene que ser consonante más Y, no aplica. Entonces aquí solo agregamos la S. ¿Quedó claro? Fíjese bien, enjoy, disfrutar, el verbo disfrutar, enjoy, termina en vocal más Y. Entonces, no aplica esta regla porque la regla pide consonante más Y. Consonante más Y. Consonante más Y. Consonante más Y. Entonces, ahí vamos a remover la Y y vamos a agregar IES. ¿Ok? Ok. Very good. So, eh, Isabel studies. You see, I'm talking about she. I'm talking about she. So she studies every night. Isabel studies every night. The baby, whether the baby is he or she, is singular, so cries all the time. Normally, the verb is cry, but because is consonant plus Y, we remove the Y and add I, E, S. Okay? Very good. And he denies all responsibility. Deny means negar. So he denies all responsibility. Questions? Hello, yes. do you have any questions? Clear, teacher. It's clear, okay. <laughs> Okay, very good. Now, in the negative, in the negative, the main verb is always in the base form without two. It doesn't change for the third person. We don't put an S on the, at the, end, on the end of the verb in the negative form. In the examples above, talk, sleep, and study do not change in third person. So, he speaks Italian in the affirmative. We don't have the auxiliary. 
Can you see here is the auxiliary, right? That is the auxiliary that we are going to use in the negative. Can you see it? That is the auxiliary that is going that we are going to use in the negative. But now pay attention to this. Okay? Do do is the base form. Now for he, she and it the the verb is does. Because does is already inflected Right here in the negative is already inflected. The verb is going to go on its base form. That's what he says right here. We don't put, nosotros no ponemos una S al final del verbo in the negative form. En la negativa. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo does ya está conjugado en tercera persona. El verbo es do. Para I, you, we, they. Pero para he, she, and it, la conjugación es das. Como utilizamos este auxiliar en la negativa, ya el verbo auxiliar ya está conjugado. Es por eso que el verbo principal va en su forma base, sin agregarle la S. Porque la S ya está agregada en el dasen. ¿Está claro? De igual manera, do not can be abbreviated to done, and does not can be abbreviated to doesn't. Vaya, de la misma manera, y fíjese bien, voy a regresar aquí. Cuando yo hago preguntas, utilizo el, util, el auxiliar does. Como ya este ya está conjugado, el verbo principal también va en su forma base. Mire, verbo principal va en su forma base. En afirmativa no hay auxiliar. Entonces el verbo principal tengo que conjugarlo en tercera persona. ¿Está claro? ¿Sí? Yes. Bien. Ok. No importa. Mire, puede ser que esté claro ahorita en la explicación y no se sienta mal. Ahorita vamos a hacer una serie de ejercicios. Y si nos equivocamos, es parte del show. Yo sé que se van a equivocar. Es más, conseguí unos ejercicios para que se equivoquen. ¿Ok? Ok, so. Ahora, that was with yes and no questions. We are going to work with question words. These are the question words. What, when, where. So, the question words, they go at the beginning of the question. Then the auxiliary, can you see here? Auxiliary. Then the auxiliary, then the subject, you, your mother, you. Then the verb, play, go, meet, and the rest of the sentence. For example, what do you play on your computer? When does your mother, because if your mother is she, when does your mother go to work? Where do you meet your friends? Is that clear? Hello? Yes? Hello. And same thing. Yes. When we talk about he, she, and it, does. When we talk about you, we, and they, I, you, we, and they, the auxiliary for questions is do, and for negatives is don't. But for he, she, and it, the auxiliary is does in questions and in negative doesn't. Okay? okay? Very good. So it's okay. Let's practice. Okay. What is the affirmative? I play. What is the negative? I don't play. I don't play. I don't play. Very good. I don't play. Now, what is the question? Do I play? play? Very good. I play. Do I play? Do I, I play? play? Very good. Excellent. Okay, so you understand. Okay, now we are going to do the second one. Okay, you help. What is the negative? You don't help. Okay, everybody. 
You don't help. Okay, very good. What is the question? Do you help? Uh -huh. Do you help? Do you help? Okay, perfect. Very good. Now, the negative is he doesn't answer. What is the affirmative? He has words. Okay, don't pronounce the W. He answers. He answers. answers. Don't pronounce the W. Answers. Answers. Okay, very good. And what is the question? Does, Does he answer? Does he answer? Okay, very good. Now that you know, okay, complete the rest of the exercise in pairs, please. Okay? Complete the rest of the exercise in pairs, please. Okay? So I'm going to break you into pairs. Let me see. First, I want to know how many of you are here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so I'm going to make seven groups. Seven groups, okay? So I'm going to break you into groups. Seven. So you can make, you can do the rest of the exercise in pairs, okay? Are you ready? Get in. Marlon and Paulo, room number one. Cindy and Carla, room number two. Eunice and Francisca, room number three. Karen and Vicente, room number four. Hector and Liliana, room number five. Ginny and Ricardo are already there. Brenda and Carlos, room number seven. Okay, Cindy, Hector, room number five, Hector. Carlos, okay, Hector Eduardo, room number five, please. Hello, Hector, room number five. Okay, hello. It seems like uh, Hector Eduardo is having problems with the internet. So okay. let's see. So do you want to share your your screen, Liliana, please? Hold on a second. Okay, very good. No, not this one. Uh, okay. Okay, very good. So go ahead and complete all. Okay, the negative of I play. I don't play. Okay, very good. Okay, and the question? The question, do I play? Do I play? Very good question, Mark. Very mm -hmm. good. Next. Then you help. It is you don't help. You don't help. Very good. And the question is, uh, do you help? Do you help? Very good. Then is he he answers? Uh -huh. Answers. Answers. Yes. Okay. Forget about that. That you. That little you. Forget it. Answer. Okay. Uh -huh. He answered, and the, and the question is, does he? Okay. Perfect. He answer. Does he answer? Okay. Very good. Okay. And next. He sings. She sings. Then is she doesn't sing. Okay. And the 
and the question is, does she sing? Ay, pero no sé por qué no sube. Bueno, es um, Okay, I'm going to get out. Continue doing it. I'm okay. going to get out for a minute and I'll come back, okay? Okay. okay. Ah, you are here, uh, Hector. Okay, yes. do it with Melissa, please. Okay? Okay. Yes. Very good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. The next is it rains. She, hello, it rains. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Negative is doesn't rain. Hello, Christina, how are you? Christina, Christina, are you there? Christina, Christina, are you there? Good evening, Christina. Good evening, Christina. Okay, do you have the material, Christina? Yes? Okay, we are doing this exercise. Let me show you, okay? Now, for example, this is the first exercise, number one, okay? Affirmative, I play. Negative, I don't play. Questions, do I play? Now, help, you help, you don't help, do you help? Now, the next one, here, uh, here we have he does not answer. He doesn't answer. What is the affirmative? He answers with an oh, answer, right? Because he's third person singular. And what is the question? Does he answer? Because the auxiliary is does. Now, what is the next one right here? She sings. Uh-huh. She? She sings. She sings. Right? She sings because it's third person, a singular in affirmative sentence. Okay, what is the negative? She doesn't. Uh -huh. She doesn't, doesn't sing. Okay. Sing, sing. She doesn't sing. Vaya, miren. Aquí es Cristina en, Mar en, en, en Angela. Usted diga lo que tenga que decir. Sí, Boca, no hay problema, para eso es la clase. Ah, se equivocó, bueno, la vamos a corregir y usted lo va a hacer otra vez. Pues es posible que se vuelva a equivocar, no problem. Pero no se detenga, ¿ok? Ok, continue. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Ok, continue. It rains. It, it, it don't rain. No, no, don't. Because here we have that for it, what is the auxiliary? You see, for uh, it, if, the auxiliary if, is does, okay? So, what is the... Uh-huh, continue. It doesn't rain. Uh-huh, it doesn't rain, and no es. Vaya, ¿por qué ella no lleva la S aquí? Porque el does... Es la conjugación del do. Como ya va conjugado, ya no tengo que agregarle la S aquí. En la afirmativa no tengo auxiliar. Tengo que conjugar el verbo y la conjugación es agregarle la S o la S. ¿De acuerdo? Vaya, termínenlo, please. ¿Ok? I'm going to go to another group. Ok, very good. Pero en el lead sí está el das. Exactly. 
Yeah, for for it we use does. Okay. Yeah. Now here you can use the contractions. Okay, doesn't. Does uh -huh. Okay, very good. Very good. So you have finished. We don't dream, you don't read. Very good. Okay, very good. It's easy, right? Now, this is mechanical. This is mechanical. Okay? It takes a while. Toma un poquito de tiempo. Acostumbrarse. Pero usted lo tiene que practicar para que esa mecánica se vuelva parte de su repertorio. Okay? Teacher, okay. In, uh, de pregunta, si, si le agregamos el DAS, no. tiene que agregarle la S. No, no porque el DAS es la conjugación en tercera persona del DON. Ajá. Entonces ya el verbo ya, está, ya me está diciendo aquí Yo ya estoy conjugado Entonces el verbo principal tiene que ir sin S Ya, ya está conjugado Entonces, En las negativas En las negativas ya está conjugado El verbo principal Only, only affirmative, right? Only in affirmative because we don't have An auxiliary verb Yeah, yeah Okay very good. Okay, let me break the groups. Let me bring the groups the, the, the groups back. It's rain. It's rain. Ah, aquí no lleva la S, como ya te. Aquí tampoco. She's seen the human. She's seen. She doesn't. She doesn't think. Okay. He answered. Answers. Solo una afirmativa. Does he sería? Si fueran alguna porque qué me dice? Teacher, we can hear you. Y no tampoco. I said only in the affirmative we add the s. In the questions and in the negatives, the auxiliary verb is already conjugated. So the main verb goes base form. Okay, very good. Thank you. Everybody's back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, very good. I like this. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on to the next one right here. Okay, now next exercise. Arrange the words to make sentences in the simple present. For example, all these are affirmative. Okay, so you see I collect stamps. We, we, we play. We are playing games. Okay. Right. The next one. The next one. He reads comics. And here, because he's a pyramid and he's third person singular, I have to add the yes. S. So he reads comics. That clear? Okay, so you yes. are going, okay. okay, everybody, do the rest, do the rest. I'll give you two minutes. Okay, do the dance, yeah, do it in your notebook, do it in your paper.
Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, let's see, um, Angela, number four. She is things in a bag. Okay, what is missing? ¿Qué hace falta? Chris. Chris is he. Chris is he. So Chris. <coughs> Is sing in a band, right? So we need to add the S. So we need to put Chris sings in a band. Okay, Chris sings in a band. Okay, very good. Okay, number five, Christina. We have a hamster. We have a hamster. Very good. Uh, Liliana, number six. Andy and John like cola. Okay. Andy and John. They. They. Andy and John. So, like Coca-Cola. No es. Vicente. She is nice. Aha. Uh -huh. And the bird to be? Remember, the, the conjugation, the conjugation of the verb to be is am, I am, she is, he is, it is, and you are, we are, they are. Okay, only, the only verb to be, the only, the only verb be, the only verb is the verb to be who conjugate himself. Is that clear? So it is am, are, is. Very good. Number eight. Francisca. Um, they, they help their parents. They help their parents. Very good. Uh, Karen. The next one. Remember, the children is plural. Los niños. The children speak English. Okay, the children speak English. Just right there. Very good. Number 10, Eunice. Sería I buy a new paper every Saturday. I buy a newspaper every Saturday. Okay, now we are going to practice only negatives. On, now only negatives. I watch TV. I don't watch TV. Don't watch TV. We play football. <clears throat> okay, I will give you all of these. You have to convert them into negatives. Okay, so go ahead. I'll give you two minutes. Make them negatives, please. Make them negatives.
Okay, do you finish? Yes. Okay. No yet. No yet. Okay. One more minute. One more minute. Hurry up. Okay, let's see, Marlon, number two. We don't play football. We don't play football, very good. Eden Nilsson, number three. Eden Nilsson, number three. Sorry, teacher. Um, number three. It, it isn't boring. It isn't. Remember, the verb to be makes its own negative. Is the only verb is the only verb that does not need the auxiliary do or does. It makes its own negative. It, it isn't not. boring. Okay. Very good. Number four. Uh, Cindy. She doesn't not clean her room. Okay, when you say doesn't, you are... Does not. Uh -huh. So yes. when you say doesn't, don't say don't, uh, not. Okay, so you say doesn't. Okay, very good, just like that. Again, Cindy. Mm -hmm. She does not clean her room. Okay, or she doesn't clean her room. Normally, in English, people speak with contractions. Okay, very good. Eunice. She don't ride your bike every weekend. Excellent, very good. Vicente. Sandy doesn't take nice very good. Vladimir. You do. Number seven. We are making negatives, Vladimir. Negatives. Uh, they don't. They don't open the windows. They don't open the windows. Very good. Carla. Hello. He doesn't buy a new CD. He doesn't buy a new CD. Very good. Next, uh, Carlos. Yes, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, I am not late. I am not late. Remember, the verb to be doesn't need do or does. 
They made their own negatives. I am not late. Very good. Number 10, Hector Eduardo. Hector Eduardo. Okay, uh, Paulo. She doesn't have a car. She doesn't have. Remember, she doesn't have a car. Okay, very good. Now, here, make questions. For example, she collects stickers. Does she collect stamps? <laughs> Okay, let's change this to stamps. Okay, does she collect the stamps? Okay, what is number two? Cristina? Do they play? Uh -huh, okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. Don't they play a game? Do they play a game? Do they play? <laughs> Again, do they play a game as easy as that? Okay, very good. Okay, does the cat sleep in the cat's bed? Can you see the cat? So I need does. Does the cat sleep in the cat's bed? Because I'm talking about an animal. Okay, which is the pronoun is it. Okay, do the other ones, please. Does she dream often? Uh -huh. Does she dream often to dream? Does she often dream? Don't pronounce the T. Okay. Don't pronounce the T. Does she often dream? Very good. What about the next one? Does he play street ball? Does he play a street ball? Very good. Carla. Do, do you? Aha, uh, uh -huh, but is the bird to be? The bird to be doesn't need auxiliaries. What yeah. is the bird to be for you? Uh, uh -huh. So are you? Uh, are you from Paris? Exactly. So there is, are you? From Paris? Are you from Paris? That is correct. Remember, the verb to be is the only verb that doesn't need do or does. Is conjugation takes the first position. Okay, now the next one is Angela? Do you go to the cinema? Do you go to the cinema? Very good. Next, uh, Jeannie. Uh, does she has okay. friends? Uh -huh. But, okay, now look. Very good. Does she no has? Why? Have. Exactly. Very <laughs> good. Friends. Exactly. Okay, does she... Does she have friends? Very good. Ricardo Jose. Does he read books? Okay, very good. Does he read books? Perfect. Okay, very good. As for the board part, okay. Now, you see this, I'm, I'm sorry. This is the board. This is the bold part. Okay, bold means in negrito. Okay, so we are going to do this. You are going to do this with me, okay?
Okay. So the words in bold are the ones that you are going, that you, that is the answer to your question. For example, pop music. I want the answer to be pop music. What is the question? Does Julia like? No, what? So what if does, I want that the answer does, is pop music, what is the question? What does Julia like? Uh -huh. What does Julia like? Julia likes pop music. Okay. What is number two? Spain. I want that the answer is Spain. What is the well, question? What are the where does Maria go? Uh, where Maria does Spain. Maria come, come from? Come from. Where does Maria come from? I know the Aha, uh -huh. Maria comes from Spain. You see, the answer is Spain. Now, in the garden. So that, that's what I want for an answer. In the garden, what is the question? What do they play? No, no, what? Where, 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 where do they play? Uh -huh. where, where do they play? They, where where do, do they, they play? play? In the garden. Okay, very good. Okay. What is number four? I want the answer to be his bike. What does? Uh -huh. What? what? Does Rick do? No. What does Rick ride? All right. Okay, and look at the verb. No more S because I am using the inflection of the auxiliary verb. What does Rick, what does Rick ride? Rick ride his ride. Okay, now I will give you two minutes to do the, no, but before, let me check the list, okay? Angela Patricia. Present. Cristina Margarita Pimentel Rivas. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa Lopez Rivas. No hay luz. No hay luz. <laughs> no hay luz. <laughs> sí. Present. Ah? Present. Really? Cindy present. Where is it? Let me see. Ah, finally, where is it, Ricardo? Where is Jacqueline? Jacqueline, no tiene luz. Bueno, no tenemos luz. No tiene luz. No, no hay Looking luz. Only with the battery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cindy Alexander Ramos. Okay, present. Present. Catherine Alexandra Gómez. Catherine, Catherine. Catherine is gone. Okay, Edenilson, Alexander Vázquez García. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Eh, Ricardo José Melende Patres. Present. Thank you. Alfa Unice. Present. Okay. Carlos Antonio González Rodríguez. Present. Okay. Marlon Ernesto Serrano Hércules. Present. Okay. Eh, Francisca Delmira Guillén Castellanos. Present. Ok. Vladimir Arturo Carrillo Calderón. Present. Ok. Liliana Melisa Olivares Ramírez. Present. Ok. Thank you. Gina Lizer Escobar de Orellana. Present. Thank you. Vicente Alexander Reyes Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Flores Barrientos. Present. Thank you. Brenda Beatriz Escobar Sosa. Present. Ok. Carla María Ortiz Hernández. Present. Paulo Alexander Barrera Morán. Present. En Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. Ok, very good. So let's continue. Ok, so I will give you a couple of minutes. So you can do the rest of these exercises, okay? So write the question for number, let me see, for number six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hurry up, please.
Did you finish? Okay, now look at this one. I go to the cinema on Saturdays. So I want the answer to be on Saturday. What is the question? Hello, what is the question? For number five. When, when, when do I go to the cinema? When, when? When do I go to the cinema? When do I go? Remember that I need an auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Two tasks. Okay, very good. Now, the next one. We go to Mallorca because it is warm there. What is the question? Why, why do you are we? No, no, are we? We don't use are, we use do or does. Karen, why do we why do we go to Mallorca? Why? Do we go to Mallorca? Do we go to Mallorca? Okay, very good. That makes sense. Why do I go to Mallorca? Why do I go to Mallorca? Because it is, we go to Mallorca because it is warm there. Okay, next question. John repair his bike. What does John repair? Very good. What does John repair? repair? Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, what does John repair? Robin drive his car carefully. How does Robin drive? Ah, so the question is how. What is the meaning of how? Uh, uh, how. Como. How. Okay. How does, how does Robin drive? How does Robin drive? Okay. How does Robin drive? Robin drive his car Carefully. Now, his dog every day. Who does, Who does Peter, Peter every, day? every day? Okay, but I think is what? When? What? Uh huh. Because he's an animal, right? What does do uh, does Peter yeah. run? with everything okay that is one question the other one could be okay is when when does Peter run his dog when does peter run with his dog Okay, is that clear? That's when great. does Peter run with his dog? Peter run with his dog every day. What does Peter run with every day? Peter run with his dog every day. So both are okay. Now, what about number 10? What, when where that, does, where where does, does any... Go for a holiday. Uh -huh. Where does Eric go for a holiday? He goes to Italy for a holiday. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, these are homework. Okay, for example, we are going to do exercise six. The rest, you do it. Okay? So, very good. Number six. Put the bird. You, you have to look at the content of the sentence and write a possible verb that might fit in the sentence. For example, we sometimes read, read. read. another one is buy, right? We sometimes take books, okay? So 
All of those verbs are possible. Okay, number two, Emily. Listen. Listen. Ah, disco de... Dance. 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 Listen. Listen. No, go. give me the complete sentence. Go. Emily, go. No, 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 no. Don't okay, give me go. just the verb. Give me the sentence. Emily, Emily go, go to, to the, the disco. disco. Ah, Emily goes to the disco. Goes. Right? Emily <laughs> goes to the disco. It often... Go. Uh -huh. It often Okay, I will write it often rains on Sundays. Peter and his sister are right, right, drive. Another one is clean. The family car, right? All of them are possible. Be careful with the cuca. <laughs> Pete and his sister drive. Pete and his sister watch. Pete and his sister clean the family car. Okay? Now, I always... Take to the take bus stop. No. Walk to the bus stop. I always take to the bus stop. No. Walk to the bus stop. Uh -huh. I always walk to the bus stop. Okay, so that is possible. Okay, this one you do it for exercise. Very simple. Remember, when we are talking about the verb to be, remember, is, am, or are. Verb to be is doesn't use do or does. It's the only verb that does not use do and does. So am, are, or is. So be careful here. Okay? So these are exercises for you to do. Okay, now we are going to get to the present continuous. Okay? Don't worry, we are going to check all this tomorrow in tomorrow's class, but it's your homework. Okay, the present continues tense. The present progressive is used for actions going on in the moment of speaking. Now, now. And for actions taking place only for a short period of time, like later in the day, next week, etc. It is also used to express development and actions that are arranged for the near future. Do you remember that? Yes. Remember arrangements? Present yes. progressive is also known as present continuous. Use, you use am with the personal pronoun I. You use is with the personal pronoun he, she, or it, and you use are with the personal pronouns you, we, they. Okay, affirmative, I am playing. Negative, I am not playing. Question, am I playing? He, she, and it, he is playing. She is playing, it is playing. He is not playing, she is not playing, it is not playing. Question, is he playing? Is she playing? Is it playing? For you, we and they, we use are. You are playing, we are playing, they are playing. Negative, you are not playing, 
We are not playing. They are not playing. And the question, are you playing? Are we playing? Are they playing? Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Hello, questions? Yes. Yes. Okay, now let's see. I read a book, so I am reading a book. <laughs> Number two. It is raining. It, it, because it's it, I need is. Right? I need for it, I need is. So it is raining. Okay. Now, Francisca, number three. It, it he, is, it is. No, number three, he. Uh, she is. No, he, he, he. he he is uh -huh, prepares. He, no, and the verb. This is the verb. Repair. Repairs. Uh huh. So what do we need on the verb? Look, what do we need on the verb? Always we need the ing. So he is. He is preparing. Repairing. That's repairing. 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 Uh -huh. Preparing his, uh, his bike. Okay, very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see. Uh, cutting. Yes. Number four. They, they do washing. No, no, no. Why do? We don't need do. Karen, what, they do we do. Need, what do we need for day? Here is they. What do we need? They are. They uh -huh. are watching okay. a film. Very good. They are? Watching a film. Uh-huh. They are watching a film. Very a good. Film. Very good. Vicente, the next one. The cat. The cat. The cat. The cat is sleeping on the chair. Uh huh. He is sleeping, sleeping on, on the chair. The chair. The cat is sleeping. On the chair. Very good. Melissa. Ah, well, the next one is Jane and Emily are doing their homework. Jane and Emily are doing the homework. Melissa, number seven. Bill is waiting at the bus stop. Bill is waiting. Is waiting at the bus stop. At the bus stop. Perfect. At the bus stop. Very good. Okay. Next, uh, Jeannie. Uh, we are listening to the radio. Radio. We are listening to the radio. 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 Very good. Radio. Okay, number nine. Eunice. We, we are to listening to the no, radio. No, two. We don't need to. No, no, sí, sí, no, ya, ya, sí. We are listening. To the radio. Okay, we already did that. Number nine. The children, los niños. Go ahead, and Eunice. The children. The children. The children. Playing. The children. Uh, the children playing a game. No, pero it's, si it's, digo the pero, children playing a game, estoy como Jane y Tarzán. Los niños uh, jugando un juego. Uh, ¿Qué es lo que le ha dicho? Te unice. Ah, again, the children. No, complete, complete. The children. The children are. Ajá, are. Playing again. Playing, right? Y ese ING tiene que sonar igual que en español. Yo estoy jugando. 
Ellos están viviendo. Nosotros estamos durmiendo. Ok, they are playing a game. Ok, very good. The next one. Eh, Vladi, eh, the Nielsen. Mm. Laura is walking the dog. Is walking the dog. Very good. Very good, great. Okay, now we are going to transform these sentences into negative, okay? Example, I am watching TV. What is the negative? I am not watching TV. Okay, Vladimir, number two, I am talking. I am not talking. I am not talking, very good. Okay, the next one, Angela. They aren't drawing. They Maybe. aren't. They aren't drawing. Very good. Okay. Window. Okay. The next one, Christina. She isn't opening the window. She isn't opening the window. The window. Okay, very good. The next one, Cindy. Marlon, the next one, Marlon. Angela isn't cleaning bathroom. Angela. She's not, she's not. Uh -huh, she's not. Cleaning the bathroom. Very good, Cindy. She's not Angela. <laughs> isn't cleaning the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, very good. The next one, uh, Marlon. We we aren't helping in the garden. We are in helping in, in the, the garden. garden. Okay, very good. The next one. Brenda? What is the next one, Brenda? You aren't singing. Uh -huh. You aren't singing. You are, aren't singing. Okay, very good. The next one, eh, Hector Eduardo. <laughs> Hector Eduardo, eh, Paulo. It isn't raining. It isn't raining. Okay, very good. Uh, Carlos, what is the next one, Carlos? Uh, she isn't joking. She isn't joking. Okay, very good. The next one, Ricardo. I am not cleaning up my room. Okay, tidying, tidying. Tidying. Uh -huh. I am not tidying, tidying uh -huh. my room. Very good. Now, question. What, what is tidying? tidying? Okay, tight. Okay, tidy. Only tidy. Tidy means ordenar. Clean and in, in order. And organize. 
limpiar y organizar, ordenar. ¿Ok? What is the meaning of joking? Joke, bromear. Bromeando, ajá. Uh -huh. She isn't joking. Ella no está bromeando. Ok, now. Ah, uh, let's check the list again. Ok. Let me bring everybody here. Ok, let's see. Ángela Patricia. Present. Cristina Margarita. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa. Cindy Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Catherine Alexandra. Edenilson Alexander. Present. Ok. Ricardo José Meléndez. Present. Eh, Alfa Unice Paca. Present. Eh, Carlos Antonio González Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Marlon Ernesto Serrano Hércules. Present. Francisca Delmira Guillén. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Arturo Carrillo Calderón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Liliana Melisa Olivares Ramírez. Present. Ok. Ginny Lisset Escobar de Orellana. Present. Ok. Vicente Alexander Reyes Ramírez. Present. Ok. Karen Stephanie Flores Barrientos. Present. Thank you. Brenda Beatriz Escobar Sosa. Brenda Beatriz Escobar Sosa. Turn on your microphone, Brenda. Ah, ok. <laughs> Now, Carla María Ortiz de Hernández. Present, present. Paulo Alexander Barrera. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. Ok. Present. Very good. Ok, so let's move on. Okay, the next exercise refers to write questions with the words below, okay? Like, for example, Peter, go to the cinema. So, is Peter going to the cinema? Okay, so I will give you, I will give you three minutes. No, I want you to do this in pairs, okay? So, I'm going to break you into groups. Okay, let me see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so go into the group. Okay, Angela and Christina, go into the group. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. So let me break you into mm -hmm. groups, please. I'm gonna make nine groups. Recreate nine. Okay. Go. What do you groups, please? <laughs> Eunice, go to room number one with Ella Nilsson. Angela, go to room number two with Marlon. Cristina. Ah, Brenda. Okay. Liliana, go to room number five, Liliana. Cindy, go to room number eight. Liliana. Edenilson, go to room number one. Okay, Liliana, go to room number. Okay, Brenda, hello. Brenda, Brenda, are you there, Brenda? Okay, Brenda, do you have the material, Brenda? No te escucho, Brenda. No te escucho. Something is wrong with your audio. No, no te escucho. Para nada. No. 
Vaya, ok. ¿Tenés el material? Vaya, ok. Entonces, uh, eh, escribámoslo, eh, compartilo conmigo y lo vas haciendo. Yo solo voy a ir viendo. ¿Está clear? Compartí ahí donde dice el botón verde, compartir pantalla. Y le das a lo que querés compartir. Dependiendo de las ventanas que tengas abiertas, ahí vas a encontrar una ventana que dice dónde está la tarea que estamos haciendo y le das a ese clic. Así compartir la tarea. Ok. Ok, very good. Ok, but in this one, Brenda. We have to make questions. So you see the bird to be has to be in the first position. Are they playing a game? Because they are questions. Questions. So are they playing a game? Is she listening? Listening. Tienen que corregir eso. Estas son preguntas. El verbo are tiene que ir en la primera posición. Así como aparece aquí, ve, is Peter going? El is va en la primera posición. Así tienen que cambiar esto. ¿Me escucha? Ok. Vaya. Entonces tenés que cambiar eso. Ok. Vaya. Cambialo. Cambialo para todas. Voy a ir a chequear a las demás aulas. Ok. What happened when he says, oh, wow. Nilsson is still in the room. Okay, everybody's out. Edenilson. The Nielsen is still in the room. Okay, now I have right here the exercise. Okay, let's see.
Paulo, what is number two? Are they playing a game? Are they playing a game? Ginny, what is number three? Ginny. Okay. Is she listening to the radio? Is she listening to the radio? Very good. Ricardo, number four. Am I, am I, am I dreaming? Dreaming. Am I dreaming? Karen, number five. Is she listening to the radio? No, number five, Karen. Number five. Are they, oh. are they, are they packing their bags? Are they packing their bags? Very good. Uh, Christina. Angela. Cindy. Are you doing the washing up? Are you doing the washing up? Very good. Okay, Carla. Uh, are we talking too fast? Are we talking too fast? Very good. Uh, Ellen Nielsen. Number eight. Turn on your microphone. Are they cleaning to cleaning the windows? Are they cleaning the windows? Very good. Okay, let's see. Carlos, number nine. Is she watching the news? Is she watching the news? Francisca. Are you pulling my leg? Are you pulling my leg? Pulling. Any questions about this vocabulary? Number 10, are you pulling my leg? Uh -huh. Me está jalando la pierna. <laughs> are you pulling my leg? <laughs> <laughs> okay, eso quiere decir, eh, me está quemando la pata. Are you pulling my leg? <laughs> okay. Now, the same thing. Ask for it, for the information in the bold part of the sentence. For example, to a restaurant. Restaurant. That is the bold part. Okay. Now, where is Ashley going? Ashley is going to a restaurant. restaurant. Uh -huh. The paper. In the garden. What is card writing? A red dress. Her homework. At nine. His bike. Uh, Amanda is going out with Dan. Uh -huh. Dan, with Dan. They are meeting at two o'clock. At Two o'clock, that is the answer. And Sandy's looking for field. Okay. So let's see, what is number one? What is number two? Uh -huh. what We're gonna begin with Elisa. What, 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 um, what number two. What is Gareth reading. What is Gareth reading? Very good. Reading. Great. Okay. Um, Vladimir, number three. In the garden. That is the answer. In the garden. Uh -huh, Vladimir. 
Turn on, turn on your microphone. Where, where is, where is Stacy playing? Uh -huh. Where is Stacy playing? Very good. Excellent. Okay, the next one. Let's see. Vicente. A red dress. That is the answer. A red dress. What is she wearing? What is she wearing? Okay, very good. She's wearing a red dress. Okay. Her homework, Eunice. That is the answer. Her homework. What Brittany? What doing? What? What Brittany is doing? But no. What is? Uh -huh. what is okay. What? What is Brittany doing? What is Brittany doing? Doing. Very good. Excellent. Okay. At nine, at nine, let me see who is the next one. Angela. When is Mandy leaving? When is Mandy leaving? Okay, very good. When is Mandy leaving? Mandy's leaving at nine. Christina, his bike. What is Joe repairing? Repairing. What? Is Joe is Joe repairing? What is Joe repairing? repairing? Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, the next one will be Marlon. Dan. The answer is Dan. With Dan. That is the answer. With Dan. Turn on your microphone. Sorry. Where is going? No, because it, the answer is with Dan. Para que me responda con Dan, con, con Francisca, con Cristina, con... Carla, uh -huh. mm. the question is who, who is Amanda going? Who is Amanda going? Going, Amanda is going, out. going, out. going out with. Who is Amanda going out with? Dan. Okay, Carla, the next one, please. Ah, they are meeting at two o'clock. When are they meeting? Carla, number 10. What is Sandy looking? But for Phil, Phil is a person. Phil is a person. Who? Who? Who is Sandy? Who is Sandy? Looking. Looking for. Ok. Eso suena extraño, pero así son los que hablan inglés. Les gusta terminar con preposiciones. Ok. Por eso aquí, going out with, looking for. Ok. Very good. Ok. Now, these are exercises you see three exercises. Number five, write sentences with the present continuous. My sisters are going home now. Okay. My grandfather is sleeping now. Okay. And here, write information questions. Okay. No, here, write negatives. Right negatives. Negatives. 
okay? So they aren't flying a helicopter. They aren't flying in a helicopter, okay? Make negatives, negatives. Now, this is what we want to see a little bit, okay? Now, remember, when do we use, we have to come back and see this, okay? Present continuous for actions going on at the moment of speaking. So that is now. Vaya, esto lo voy a remarcar en español. El presente continuo lo usamos para acciones que se están llevando a cabo en el momento de hablar. Quiere decir ahorita, a now, now. Y para acciones que van a tomar, que, van, que se van a dar en un periodo corto de tiempo. Por ejemplo, later the day, tomorrow, next week. ¿Sí? En un periodo corto que se van a dar. Eso es un futuro, pero en un periodo corto. Y también cuando hablamos de futuro con arrangements, con arreglos. ¿Se acuerda? De agenda. I'm meeting my mother next week. I'm visiting my parents next month. I am going to the dentist. Todo eso son arreglos de agenda. So you express them with present continuous. Okay? Vaya, fíjese bien. In simple present, simple present expresa una acción en el presente que toma el lugar regularmente, nunca o muchas veces. También es usado para acciones que se dan una tras otra. Él comió, bebió y durmió. ¿Ok? Una tras otra. Y para acciones que son establecidas por un horario. ¿Se acuerda? Hablábamos de horarios de de buses, horarios de aviones, horarios de clase. Aquí utilizamos el presente simple para expresar. Por ejemplo, usted dice, ah, yo tengo matemáticas a las 11. ¿Y qué, ¿Y qué es lo que dijo en presente? Yo tengo matemáticas a las 11. ¿Sí? Ok. Bien. Entonces, basado en eso, vamos a hacer estos ejercicios. Ok. Me pasé. Okay, the first one is what is correct to say? So you have to choose simple present or present continuous, depending on the content, the content of the sentence. Now it says now. So what is correct? Are playing. The children 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 are Now, en el momento de hablar. Ok, fíjese bien, she usually, usualmente. So she usually reads. Porque estoy hablando de algo que se da habitualmente, usualmente. So she reads the newspaper in the morning. Ok, I want you to go and do... No, we are going to do them together. Okay, number three. I am doing, I am doing, doing my, my homework, homework now. now. I am doing my homework now. Very good, very good. I am doing my homework now. Now, the next one. Do you want to come with me? 
Ajá. ¿Cómo dice en español? Querés venir. No dice, estás queriendo venir conmigo. Right? So you say, do you want to come with me? Do you want to come with me? Ok, very good. Vamos a ver, vamos a ir one by one. Cindy, number five. I don't like spaghetti. I don't like spaghetti. Very good. The next one, Héctor Eduardo. Hi, hi. He writes a letter to this pen friend every month. Ajá, uh -huh, because it's every month. Es algo que él hace frecuentemente. So, he writes. Very good. He writes a letter to his pen friend. Pen friend es un amigo que usted lo conoce solo por carta. Ok. Ahora tenemos eh, chat rooms. Ok. Number seven. Marlon. Baby is sleeping now. The baby is sleeping now. That is correct. Because we're talking about now. Very good. Vicente. My, uh, my mother usually, usually cooks, cooks dinner in the evening. Okay. You see that word usually? So that means simple present. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Number nine. Uh, Number nine, Carlos, he are the verb, listens or is listening? Okay, Mary is listening to music now. Listen. Uh, Mary is, Mary is listening to music now. You see, this thing is playing with my feelings. Okay, Mary is listening to music now. now. Okay, very good. Uh, Eden Nilsson. We are going to the disco tonight. We are going to the disco tonight. Why? Porque es algo que se va a dar en un corto periodo de tiempo. ¿Se acuerda? Como decía aquí, Ajá, uh -huh. en actions, en actions, taking place only for a short period of time. So, Eden Nielsen, you are correct. Very good. The next one. The next one, Brenda. A Brenda, no le escuchamos. Ok, en el chat, Brenda. Escríbanos en el chat. What is the answer? Ajá, what is the answer? Chat. No tenemos nada. Ok. Uh, Vladimir. Ya respondió, teacher. Perdón, ¿qué, Brenda? Does he, does he go to work? Does he go to work by bus every day? So the answer is, does he go? Okay, very good, very good. Next, uh, Vladimir. What time are you getting up in the, in the morning? Ah, or do you get up? Because this in the morning is do like every morning. Every... Okay. So what right, time it has to be what up? time do you get up what in time? the morning, right? What time yes. do you get up in the morning? Okay, it's something that is usual. Okay, let's see. Jeannie, 13. How often does your brother take a shower? Uh -huh. It's something that you are asking 
frequency. So it has to be how often does your brother take a shower? Okay, very good. The next one, Karen. Remember, where, at present, where, that means now. Where do you work no, at present? No, because it's at the moment, at present. Ah, where are, where you, are working? you working? Uh -huh, at where present. are you working at present? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, listen, Hector Eduardo. Hola. Hola, okay, listen, somebody. Listen. Listen, somebody, which is. No, listen. Cuando le dicen escuche, ah, es cuando. Listen, somebody moment. is whistling. whistling. Whistling, what is the meaning of whistling? I don't know. Silbando. Silbando. Silbando, uh -huh. silbar and silbando. Listen, somebody is whistling. Okay, let's take. We are going to check the list again. Angela Patricia. Present. Okay, Cristina Margarita Pimentel. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa Lopez. Cindy Alexandra Ramos Parada. Present. Thank you. Catherine Alexandra Gómez Martínez. Edenilson Alexander Vázquez García. Present. Ok, thank you. Eh, Ricardo José Meléndez Batres. Present. Thank you. Eh, Alfa Unice Vaca. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio González Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Marlon Ernesto Serrano Hércules. Present. Thank you. Francisca Delmira Guillén Castellanos. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Arturo Carrillo Calderón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Liliana Melisa Olivares Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Ginny Lisset Escobar de Orellana. Present. Thank you. Vicente Alexander Reyes Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Flores Barrientos. Present. Thank you. Brenda Beatriz Escobar Sosa. Present, dijo. Okay, thank you. Carla Maria Ortiz Hernandez. Present. Thank Present. you. Present. Paulo Alexander Barrera Morán. Present. Okay, Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. Okay, vaya. Antes de que continuemos, y esto no les voy a compartir la pantalla, pero ok, uh, vaya, no sé si ustedes han trabajado a estas personas que voy a mencionar, solo son tres. No sé si ustedes han trabajado la plataforma. Pero, por ejemplo, a Brenda solo le falta hacer el examen final. Eso necesito que quede terminado para, para, para mañana, Brenda. Hacer el examen final antes de Teacher. la clase. Hola. Eh, Karen, si le aparece que ya le, le lo hice. Sí, Karen ya lo hizo. Aquí estoy chequeando ahorita. Y ya quiero ver, hizo, hizo. vaya, eh, eh, Vladimir, por ejemplo, él le hace falta terminar la tarea 4, solo ha hecho el 40% y necesita hacer el examen final, Vladimir, ¿ok? Sí, necesita terminar la, la semana 4, la tarea de la semana 4 y hacer el examen final. Sí, okay. es... Vaya, espérenme, espérenme. Vamos a ir uno por uno. Me preguntó okay. Karen, ahorita estoy chequeando cada uno, ¿ok? Vaya, Karen. Karen Stephanie, yes. ya tiene todo, ¿ok? 
Ok, thank you, teacher. Ya tiene todo, no problem. Vamos a ver, ¿quién más? Teacher, Brenda checar? dice que ya lo hizo. ¿Quién? Brenda, Brenda, en el chat. Va, quiero ver, ahorita estoy checando a Brenda, sí, ya lo hizo. Va, ok, excelente. Carlos González ya lo hizo también, y ya hizo la tarea cuatro. Entonces, quiero ver, estaría pendiente... Solo Vladimir, ¿ok? Y... Pues chequea, teacher. Ya antes de la clase. ¿Quién, Vladimir? Sí. Voy, va, espérenme, voy a actualizar. Quiero ver, y Cindy, que en la tarea, quiero ver, Cindy, eh, en el final, solo le quedó 95%, ¿verdad? Falló una. No sé si la quiera mejorar. Ok, y vamos a ver, Vladimir. Ahorita estoy chequeando a Vladimir. Y sí, ya, 100% todo. Ok. okay. Estamos bien. Entonces, quiero ver, ya están todos, ¿verdad? Yo ahora lo hice, teacher. ¿Quién oh. es yo? Ah, Unice, quiero ver. Ah, Unice, ya está todo, Unice. Ok. Ya está todo. Ok, perfecto. Todos, todos ya están, ya terminaron. Ok, los felicito. Ok, la nota mínima fue 95%. Así que, excelente, un aplauso. Ok, vaya. Para finalizar, to finish. Ok, let's go back to... Let's go back to this, ¿ok? Les va a quedar de tarea hacer el siguiente ejercicio. Aquí tienen varias, ¿ok? Cuts are cutting, is cutting, is cut or cut. Usted va a decidir cuál de estas queda mejor en la oración. Which one of these options fits better in the sentence, ¿ok? Okay, and complete the sentences with the present simple or the present continuous. Okay, with this verb right here. Okay, Andy, sometimes, so Andy sometimes reads comics. ¿Por qué? Andy algunas veces lee tiras cómicas. Okay, any okay. questions? Preguntas? No. Oh. No. Are you sure? No. Are you sure? Okay, so complete complete this and tomorrow we only check, okay? okay. Remember, tomorrow's okay. class. Okay, fíjese bien, para la clase de mañana, ¿se acuerda la información que le enviaron para la encuesta? Okay. Yes. Por yes. favor, tenga la lista, okay? La tiene lista ahí en su computadora porque vamos a copiar y pegar. Ok, alguna desinformación yo le voy a decir que la tiene que copiar y pegar. Así que tenga la lista desde el comienzo de la clase. A las 9, 5 a las 9, vamos a comenzar la encuesta todos juntos y la vamos a terminar. Antes de enviarla, antes de enviarla, tengo que tomarle una foto. Ok, y enviarla al número que dice ahí. Yo se lo voy a mostrar. Y una vez que la haya enviado, voy a tomar otra foto y la voy a enviar a ese número. ¿Estamos claros? Yes. Sí. Vaya, ok. Entonces okay. necesito, hey, por favor, díganle, hoy no estuvo Ginny, no estuvo Jacqueline y no estuvo eh, yo, sí, teacher. Hola. Teacher, me mencionó a mí, aquí estoy. No, no, perdón, es Jacqueline. Oh, ok. Jacqueline y Catherine no estuvieron ahora. Todos necesitamos estar mañana, porque acuérdese, uno de los requisitos que pide INSAFOR es los tres requisitos básicos. Número uno, el tener los minutos, el 80% de los minutos totales presentes en la plataforma. Número dos, haber completado la plataforma, que ya lo hicieron. Y número tres, es haber llenado correctamente esa encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? Así que por eso nos estamos tomando todo este tiempo para hacerlo correctamente. 
¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Very good. Thank okay. you very much for tonight's okay. class. I expect you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night and dream with angels. Good angels, not bad angels. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Yeah. With good angels, not demons. Bye. Okay? Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. Okay. Thank Rest, you. please. Bye. Okay? Bye. 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 Bye.